Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm in the bathroom. I wanted to do a get ready with me to show you how I've been doing my makeup lately. I've been getting a lot of you guys asking in the comments and on my Instagram just what products I've been using lately because I haven't talked about makeup in a really long time. So I wanted to sit down. Everyone's asleep, so we will see how long this lasts. I have some water and coffee. This video is also gonna be just super chit chatty. I feel like I haven't just sat down and talked to you guys in a super long time. I wanna update you guys on sleep. We've been sleep training Owen. I will have a video up like on everything about it. I just wanna to talk to you guys about our house and um, the girls turn three tomorrow. Just like a lot's going on. So um, we will chit chat while I get ready. So first I'm gonna start with my foundation. So I have been using three different ones, kind of mixing them together. So the first is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation. I really like this. It's super full coverage though, so it's a little heavy for me. Um, so I don't need that much of it. If I want to sheer it out a little bit, like any of my foundations that I want to sheer them out, this is what I use. The Wander Beauty Hidden Glow. It's a brightening cream, and it's kind of just like a moisturizer. But I like it because it just mixes really nicely with any foundation. Um, the other two that I have been using, oh my god, I almost dropped that, and this is gloss. <laughs> this is Pacifica, the all light clean foundation. Oh, the color I'm in the hourglass is Shell. It's a little dark for me though. And then the Pacifica is in Cool Fair, a little light for me, so I mix those and it works. And then this one is the Lawless Sunrise. And I should have gotten, this is a little too yellow for me, should I, so I should have gotten the one that's a little more pinky. So today, I'm going to mix the Lawless and the Pacifica together. So I just do like a little pump of both on my beauty blender. I gotta put my hair back while I put this on. This necklace would make a perfect gift for Christmas because it's customized. Like you do your whatever initials you want. So I have um, J, V, and O on here for my kids, but I just think it's so cute. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's super affordable too. So, woo, looking a little crazy. So I just buff this in with my beauty blender. I'm not going with some concealer and it'll look a little crazy for a little bit, but trust me, it'll get better. Um, okay guys, can you believe that the girls are three tomorrow? I cannot believe it. I feel like time has gone by so fast all of a sudden. Um, I just got just, a, oh my gosh, I also want to talk to you guys about Frozen too because we just saw that yesterday. I just can't believe they're turning three. Like, I feel like all of a sudden they just are acting so much older. Like I look back on photos and videos and they were just like little cute, funny girls. And now I'm like, they're, they're like older. They're kids now. They're not like babies. They don't even feel like toddlers to me. They feel like kids because they're so tall for their age. So it's just super, super weird and bittersweet. And Andrew and I were like crying so much the other day. I am like the most unemotional person, but I'm so emotional. Ever since I had Owen, I'm so emotional. And then for concealer, I have been using a couple different ones. My favorite right now, this one, it's the Well People in Fair. And I got this at Target and it's really, really great. And I just apply it with my fingers. I just feel like the girls are just all of a sudden so big and grown up and they're not babies anymore. So now I'm trying to just like really cherish the time with Owen because I'm like, before you know it, he's gonna be just as big as they are. It's just really crazy. So we had a great birthday party. It was a princess theme party, obviously. They love princesses. Um, it was a great turnout. All of our friends and family were there and the girls had a bunch of little friends and it was a great time. So that's that, that's their birthday. Um, I took them with my friend to Frozen 2 yesterday and I am obsessed with it. Like I was never a huge Frozen 1 fan. I liked it. I liked the music, but like it wasn't, I, I didn't know the hype. And I think part of it was because the girls were too young when it came out or wait, were they even born? No, they weren't even born yet. So I never really watched it when it first came out. I kind of just watched it like later on. And so I never really got what everybody was so obsessed with. Um, put a little bit of this on my eyes too. But this time around, when I went to the theater, I don't know if it's just because like the girls love Frozen now, so I, I feel like I'm invested or something. I thought it was amazing. I want to see it again. Um, I'm 100%, well actually I was going to say I'll buy it, but now with Disney Plus, I feel like you don't have to buy any, Disney, any music, any movies. Um, 
The music was amazing. I'm still nursing, so I have to like, when I drink, drink my coffee, I have to chug my water. And on top of this, I'm gonna set my makeup with the Lawless Seal the Deal. I just bought this and I really like it. I also just got this. This was sent to me from Urban Decay. I literally like just bought this and they sent this the next day and it's like pretty, pretty similar. So this is a loose setting powder in light. No, brightening and translucent. And then this is, this is more of like a foundation. And I really like it too. Like both are really great. So I will use, I'm gonna use this actually because the Lawless one is a little more matte and I kind of want, um, it to be a little less matte. But well, let's talk more about Frozen. So music is amazing. I came home instantly and was looking at all the songs on YouTube. It's gonna sound really dumb, but the music to me sounds more like a musical than just like a Disney movie. Like more kind of Broadway. Something about it just like made me so happy. I don't know if you, if you guys wanna talk about it, please let me know that I'm not the only one, but it just is like, it's so good and it's really um, not, I don't want to say catchy because that just is not, that's not good enough. It's like, it gives you chills. Um, when I was watching it, I just like had goosebumps during all like the bridges of the songs and I cried three times in the movie, guys. And I was like choked up during like a ton of it. And I, again, I don't, I don't cry, well now I do. Before um, bronzer. I've been using the Cover Effects bronzer in Sunkiss Bronze. I like it because it has like a, a matte side and a more like metallic side. I kind of just mix the two and I just use this to bring some dimension and warmth back into my skin. Um, but the storyline was really good. I, the one thing I didn't love is I felt like from the beginning of the movie you could tell like a lot was gonna happen in the movie. I'm like, how in the world are they gonna cover all of this in you know this short of time frame? So I feel like they kind of tried to do a little bit too much. Uh, I feel like there was too many characters. They could have like cut that down and just like simplified it a little bit more and like expanded on the current characters. But um, overall, like the storyline was, I thought it was gonna be like super complicating, but it wasn't as, it wasn't as dark as I thought it was gonna be. Like the, the previews make it look really intense. And yes, it's kind of, in, like it's more intense than the first movie, but it's also like extremely funny. I thought it was way more funny than the first movie. Like I didn't, I know some people are gonna be mad at me. I didn't think Olaf was that funny in the beginning in the first movie. I was like, I don't get why people love Olaf so much. I was not impressed. This movie, he was hilarious. Like I was laughing at like every single line he had. His song was so funny. Um, Christoph's song was super funny and like really, really good and clever. But clearly you can tell I love it. I, th I definitely liked it more than the girls did. <laughs> but they sat through the whole movie. They were really, really good. Um, I brought fruit snacks and we got M&Ms and they did a really good job. They kind of got a little antsy like three fourths of the way in and then I just, they kind of went on my lap and they were fine, but they just, they really liked it. They loved the all the dresses that Anna and Elsa wore. I thought like, Anna's hair looked so pretty. Like it was down, it was half up, and it looked so pretty. And then Elsa, oh my gosh, she looked like stunning. She pulls her hair like all the way down towards the end. I'm like, dang, I feel like everybody's gonna dye their hair like her platinum icy blonde now because it was so pretty. So um, if you guys are wondering if you should go, if you like it, Definitely go, it's it's really, really good. Oh, and then for bronzer, I'm also gonna take that onto my eyes. I just do a little bit of this, just kind of as eyeshadow. Um, okay, so Frozen 2, loved it, wanna see it again. Probably will just wait till it comes out and, um, so I can watch it at home, but really impressed. What else do I wanna talk to you guys about? Oh, um, Sleep Training Owen. So we are like a week in to Sleep Training. I started last Monday. And I will say everything, it's like way better than it was before, but we're not on like 100% there. Um, he still is waking up um, a few times at night. Actually one time it was only once, so that was amazing. But um, last night he woke up like three times, so we're not fully there at night. Um, naps, he's good at naps. Like I would say 50, no, more than 50% of the time, he goes to bed without crying now. So like we'll put him down and he's, he's just makes a little bit of noise and then he's out. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this underneath too. 
So that, like the fact that I don't have to rock him to sleep anymore is amazing. Like I used to have to rock him for like 20 minutes and it was just getting like out of control. I was like, I am spending so much time rocking you. For blush, I've been using this Laura Geller blush every single day. Like this is the only blush I have in my uh, makeup right now. This, the color is Tropic Hues. It's like a pinky, mauvey, purpley. Is that focus? Yeah, there you go. Really pretty. Um, and it's kind of metallic -y too, so it gives you like a little bit of sheen to your cheeks. Um, but, so the fact that I don't have to rock him is, is lovely. Um, I also pulled the binkies out so he doesn't get a binky. And what else is different? I think that's about it. So now when I, I mean, I'll explain it like more in depth in a whole video, but basically we just kind of, kind of get him ready for bed at night, feed him and all that. And um, just so he knows it's kind of like nighttime. Oh, if you want a little highlighter, I like this one from Becca. It's called Gradient Glow. So I like that to just like pop a little bit on my nose and just kind of give a little bit of shimmer. The other one I've been using is from Laura Mercier and it's super pretty too. This one is called um, Indiscretion. So it's really nice. Um, I'm gonna kind of fix up my eyebrows right now. I still am using the butter eyeshadow. I need to get just like a single eyeshadow. Like you guys gave me so many recommendations. I just haven't ordered one on MAC. This is the one I use. So let me know what MAC shade is close to that. I know it looks super dark, but chocolate brown shadows on my brows like work really well. And then this I love, the Sephora Brow Pencil and it's waterproof. The color is Nutmeg Brown. And I use this just to kind of define my brows a little bit more and it kind of just brings um, more shape and hold and something about using like a, a shadow and then this on top, I don't know, kind of just like brings more dimension rather than just using the eyeshadow by itself. So I'm a fan of the combo. But I will say that I feel like we started sleep training him at a really good age. He's five months now and he's definitely ready. The only thing is I don't know how much he needs to be eating at night. Like obviously he can make it through the night. He's a big, big baby. He's over 20 pounds. Um, so he's like big enough to be able to sleep through the night. But at the same time, I don't want my milk supply to go down. So um, I'm still going to nurse him once a night. And then like last night he was crying. Usually he just drinks once now at night. And the other two times um, we'll let him cry a little bit and he'll eventually fall asleep. And it does, he doesn't cry very long, just like a maybe two minutes or so. And then he calms down and goes to bed. But last night he was like crying a lot heavier. Like it was a, a just a different cry. So I ended up feeding him again. I was like, maybe he's just hungry. Um, but he didn't nurse much. He fell asleep. So I don't know. I'm, I think a lot of it is just kind of comfort right now. Um, but either way, it's definitely a lot better than it was. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy with it, how it's going. But there is like a whole process to it and like so many little things that are involved. The program I use is from Sleep Sense. If you guys don't wanna wait till my video, um, you can just get like the ebook, super cheap. And it's just amazing. It has like really great info on sleep in general for kids. Okay, so this is to set my powder makeup. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar. If you've never tried this, you need to try it. Like, there's no questions. You just need this in your life 100% no matter what. I'm gonna put my mascara on while I'm talking to you. The one I'm using right now is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I really like this. It's super similar to the Roller Lash from Benefit. It's just super hard to get off. The other one I like is the Lancome, not Lancome, L'Oreal in the pink. It looks just like this kind of. That one's easier to get off. Um, and then also I've been using a serum for my lashes and it's helped so, so much. It's the Vega Lash by Vega More. I've mentioned this on my Instagram and I use it at night and it's a vegan lash serum. It's helped so much. My lashes were so stubby postpartum and it's just been great. But Sleep Sense, so I'll just give you like a quick rundown of what you do. They recommend not using any sleep props, so taking away, you know, binkies and um, rocking your baby, doing like shush and all that stuff. Um, I still use the sound machine 
and I use the Hatch one. I wanted another one for the girls' room. It's just so much better than the one they have. And then what you do is once they're asleep, and there is a whole thing like you gotta have a like a kind of a nighttime routine so they know it's time for bed, like feed them and all that, get them nice and calm. And then when you put them down, you put them down and you leave the room. So you don't rock them to bed, you put them down, him say good night, I kind of pat him, give him a kiss, and then I leave the room. So if they start crying, which now when I put him to sleep, he doesn't cry at all, it's so amazing. But he, or they probably, your son or daughter, will cry a little bit in the beginning. So once they start crying, you look at your phone and look at the clock and you start counting. So um, as they're crying, if they start to kind of slow down and um, soothe themselves, then you start back from one. So you go back to zero and start counting up again. Um, if they don't calm down, you wait until it's been five minutes and then you go in and you go shh, 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 or like pat their tummy, whatever. Um, and then you leave the room again. Sometimes if I go into his room and do that though, it backfires. So, um, he will calm down though. Like usually, I mean, I, I documented the whole thing. Like I filmed at the end of each day so you can see exactly what went on every day. But the first night he only cried like maybe, I don't not even five minutes because I never had to go in there and he just ended up calming himself to sleep like really quick. So it was really amazing. So stay tuned. I will have a video coming probably either the end of this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to get that up by the end of this week. On a lighter note, are you guys watching Real Housewives? I am so into, I have a couple shows I've been watching. New Jersey, which is really good. I'm also watching Orange County and what else is on? Dallas, I really like Dallas too. So those are my shows. I actually just started a new show last night. If you guys have Apple Plus, well, if you guys have Verizon, you can get a year free at Apple Plus, which is what we did. But there's a new show called High School Musical, the musical the series. I was the biggest High School Musical fan ever. Like guys, I went to Disneyland with my friends when they had the premiere of the, I think it was the second one. And we made a, a sign that said wink at us link because it was right after Zac Efron did Hairspray. And I'm 100% convinced that he saw it and he looked at us and winked. Um, but if you guys were into them, what's going on with my bottom lashes right now? They're like really dinky. This show's super cute. I'm only one episode in, so I can't really say like a ton about it. But it's basically like what the gist of it is, is it takes place at the high school that they shot the movie at. And now like the people there are like people who actually go to that high school and they hire a new drama teacher and she's like, I cannot believe that this is the home of High School Musical and this high school doesn't even have, like they don't even put on their own musical. So it's kind of cute and they like have people who are gonna play like Gabrielle and everything and it seems like they're all pretty good singers. I honestly, like I have the worst singing voice in the world but I love any like musical production. I'm all there for that. I usually am just done here, but I'm gonna do a little bit of liner. This is the Urban Decay Lucky. It's like a bronzy, let me show you on the back of my hand. Here's the back of my hand. It's like my favorite eyeliner ever. And I use it just on my lower lash line. Every now and then if I want like a little bit more makeup, if it's for nighttime, I'll do a little bit of black on the top. But this is what I like to do a lot, just on the bottom. Kind of just like makes my eyes pop a little bit more. So that is what I do for my makeup. It's just bronzy, kind of makes me look fresh and awake and put together. And these are the products I will honestly use every single day. Like I have not used new products in such a long time, I feel like. That's why I was like needing new foundations and concealers. And that's why I'm really glad I tried this one at Target. Loving this Urban Decay foundation. And the Lawless one is good too. This is just a little bit more matte, I find, but it's Great, it's, I like it because it's talc free. But yeah, this is my makeup. I feel like I didn't have enough time to talk to you guys about everything I want to talk about. We're loving our new house. It's just like every day we feel a little bit more used to it and we're getting things put away. It's been kind of crazy like this time of year because with the it's like we moved and then we had Halloween and Thanksgiving and the girl's birthday and now Christmas. So it's like one thing after the next. So I feel like once 
January rolls around, it'll feel really nice. I can just kind of take a deep breath and we can really kind of get everything in order, but we're taking it slowly. I know I showed all the, the plans we wanna do for our house, but that's not gonna happen for a long time. It's just things that eventually we wanna have done, but we know it's a process and it's just nice to kind of know what you wanna change about your house, just kind of make it more your own. And then um, I mentioned on my Instagram that we're gonna do a budget video. I wanna do a couple. Like I was thinking we'd do one on budget, one on paying off debts, and one on like planning for the future. So let me know if those are three categories you'd like to see, or if there's a more specific thing, let me know in the comments. But we recently paid off Andrew's school loans for physical therapy school. So that was like huge because that's a lot of money um, to pay off for loans. So now that we have that paid off, the next thing we need to pay off is my car and Andrew's car is paid off. We just need to pay off my car. And a lot of you guys have asked too about our first house because we still own that house. We are renting it out right now. We're using a rental agency for that. But um, so we have the two homes, but people are living there currently and they're renting it. So we'll talk about that because a lot of you guys are asking about how to do the two of them, like if you want to have multiple incomes from other properties. And that's one of Andrew's big things is acquiring more properties. So you're getting that passive income. Um, so he'll talk more about that because Andrew loves talking about finance. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this where I can just update you on our life and chit chat with you while doing my makeup or whatever it is. Um, Owen's going to wake up like any minute. I'm shocked that he hasn't woken up yet, but um, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's with Kendra. Thank you guys for watching and spending some time with me. And I will talk to you very soon.